Hello and welcome everyone to another Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign. This time we'll be taking a look at Kugath Plaguefather and his Poxmakers of Nurgle. Grandfather has visited this household many times in the past year, so I figured it was high time for us to dive on in to a Nurgle campaign. I actually have not necessarily played Nurgle since the Rebel Souls initially had launched. That was actually on my uh, first channel that has long since been forgotten to the annals of history. Um, so let's go ahead and dive on into Kugath's uh, details here. Kugath has sailed to the Dragon Fang Mount, drawn by the promises of the Putrid Sludge near the mouth of the River Ruin. His starting army is going to have a couple of Plague Bearers of Nurgle. Several of the Nurglings he is so well known for. Uh, Plague Toads, the Flying Chicken McNuggets, and then the Plague Drones of Nurgle with Death's Heads. They've got a uh, kind of a grenade they can throw down before engaging in melee. Alright, there may be a few more cuts than normal. We'll stumble our way on through this. For whatever reason, uh, reading is difficult today. For our faction effects, the recruitment cost is going to be reduced by 5% for Nurglings units, and then characters' replenishment rate is going to be increased by 1% for every major settlement held. So the more we claim, the cheaper our Nurglings are going to be, and the more our heroes and lords are going to replenish. Population surplus plus 2 for newly captured settlements, which is awesome. Recruitment health plus 60% for Nurglings units once recruited, because Nurgle can actually recruit his troops in immediately. Uh, and then from there, they actually have to replenish. They're recruited at, I think, like 40% health, and then you kind of have to draw them up a couple percent. Uh, the ability we're going to gain the extra ability, Laugh of the Ur Father, for all exalted great and clean ones and great and clean ones units, which is going to be this lovely ability here, which is kind of an explosion that throws out some infested Nurglings, which are also, I think, explosive. For Kugath's Lord effects, he's going to have a minus 50% infection cost for his army for start spreading plagues, an extra 10 Nurgle corruption for the local province, a extra chance of plague spreading by 15%, and then it dropping the enemy speed in his provinces by 20%, which is awesome. So he's actually going to be able to be faster than some factions with that uh, debuff all calculated on in. So for the starting position, he is here in the Dragon Fang Mount, so all down here in the uh, this little bit of island chain. We're going to have to fight our way on up through some lizardmen. For the lore, for Kugath Plaguefather, whilst other great and clean ones work to spread the plagues already extant, Kugath the Plague Father is fascinated by the breeding of new and virulent life. Kugath aims to one day breed a contagion that can infect the gods themselves. Plague Father rides upon a massive palanquin bedecked in alchemical paraphernalia, vials full of seething powder, flasks of indescribable liquid, and Hessian stack us, uh, and Hessian sacks stuffed to bursting with nurglings. This great bulk is held aloft by a carpet of straining nurglings, and Kugath is attended on by countless others, all bred from the Plague Father's pox bats. So he just has a bunch of swole nerglings carrying him around all the time. That has to be a terrible job. For our settings, we've got very hard difficulty and a very hard battle difficulty, which will give them a bit of buffs on this side, and I have the battle difficulty a slider set to the middle here. So the only thing it's actually going to be doing is giving them, for us rather, a drop to our leadership, I think three. But that is the only kind of modifiers you're going to see in a battle. You do actually lose some leadership to all your troops on very hard, which is... Not too big of a deal. We've got the in times, or the crisis is on. The ones we have selected are going to be the Black Pyramid, the Biggest Wall, and the Vampiric Ascension. I want to deal with none of the shooting uh, in games because we are Nurgle and shooting is our hugest weakness. Back on over to the big boy himself. Let's get this campaign started. That disease, the flesh, Legion marches. Oh yeah, plague showers for everyone. It's gonna look like the old Nickelodeon episodes. Use infections accumulated throughout the game to concoct plagues that can be spread throughout the world for a variety of favorable effects, in turn for earning more infections. We will observe the organic cycles of Nurglish building chains to optimize recruitment and building effects, so Nurglish buildings actually cycle on through and get stronger, and then we'll cycle back to the beginning over a duration of a certain amount of turns. Uh, you can use plagues and other means to spread Nurgle's corruption, promoting growth within your provinces. And then we ensure the spread of Nurgle corruption to aid his participation in the great game and unlock Holy Man Unmet 
unholy manifestations that can greatly benefit your plagues and unit numbers. Which sounds awesome. Our first mission has been issued to take down this army of Inkipok spawn, so our enemies gather to strike against us. Attack first and deny them that opportunity to reach full strength. Give us a little bit of gold, a very small amount of gold, and some flies. Lovely. So our first plague ridden we have here, I am likely going to mix up all of the different plague names, is going to be immediately rechanged, or renamed to Kevin the Stinky. Our Kevin has been named, and he's going to be added right on in to Kugath's army. We've got a Kevin in absolutely every uh, campaign. Let's just take a look and see which kind of a trait we got for him. We nice. We've got Corruption of the Father. I'm not sure what all Nurgle has, but this one seems pretty solid. Extra four Nurgle Corruption for the local province. We've got 14 just coming out of uh, the two armies, or the two uh, Lord and Hero. Uh, and then an extra two melee defense while defending, which can never be a bad thing. Cool guy. Okay. All these little swole fellas down here carrying uh, Gugath around. For our quest, we've got just the necrotic missiles. Increased number of projectile sounds. Nice. Extra post battle loot. Even more corruption. Great stuff. More melee attack for his big Hulk himself. We do start off with the Dragon Fang Mount, which is a minor settlement. When if I hadn't already mentioned it, we are actually playing on the SFO Grimhammer mod. I'm actually having quite a bit more fun with all the flavor that SFO has been bringing. Incredible work that uh, Venris has been doing here with uh, just to breathe more life into the game itself. So Kugath and we're even doing the same thing over with Heinrich. So if you haven't checked out that campaign, go find yourself some undead. We've got all of the Horde Healy factions coming up right now. I've also got another collection of mods that I kind of use in just about every campaign just to give us a bit more thematic flavor. I'll, I'll try to make sure that mod list is added as soon as possible in the description, uh, but if you're looking for a mod list, that is going to be where it is. I'll make sure I in the comments that when it is actually been added, if I can remember to do so. So for the Dragon Thing mount, I think we're going to come on right away and add in the Sea Dragon's Teeth here in but a half moment. Here with Ugath himself. Oh, they don't let you summon you just in the first turn. How sad. Our unholy manifestations, we can give us more health and replenishment rate which is good to keep on hand if we take too many casualties in this first battle here as for our plagues themselves how much in terms of we've got just the 50. all right another quick cut cats came running in chasing one another and they were complaining about it the whole time we had to make sure that was cut on out so we start with 50 infections so we're not actually able to infect the dragon fang mount just yet looks like we can only really afford to do so with kugath and that's just fine Let's still see what kind of plague we can pass on out then. Bring it grand, so Ox would give us... Toxic. All of them are going to give us corruption and infections just on all armies and settlements. Except for this one here, which gives us more summonable nerglings. But has no effects on armies. This one has the effects for settlements, so we're probably just going to go for the Pox. A Pox on them all. Five extra infections, two nerve corruption. And then when it does spread to Nurgle settlements, it'll speed up the cycle time for infrastructure buildings and give them 25 growth. We're going to add this one to Hugath. A yoink. The plague falter has been infected. Happy to do so. I guess we can come on in and check out our technology as well. Seven is the number of the plague lord. Seven of the ways which Nurgle infects the mortal and immortal like with contagions. Invoke his methods and become the blessed carrier. Anything that gets us some growth to start here? Growth in chaotic wasteland climates, which we don't have yet. Probably back up here to Spore Diffusion. In growth, an extra corruption in adjacent provinces, and then some extra battle healing cap. Oh, per technology research, is that? That's pretty solid. Spore Diffusion. Power. Okay, well, let's gain as much gold as we can through battle, and we can do some upgrading to our settlements. Need Galaxy? Prepare thine cheeks. He himself, he's, I guess he's a juggernaut. Good for you, buddy. See how much of a juggernaut you are when Kugath is knocking at your door, but he's got some Sora Spears, some Warriors, and then three units of Skirmishers that we should be able to run down with the Odys, Furies, and the Plague Drone. Should be an absolute whooping for the Lizards. In battle march stance so they get a bit more melee and missile weapon damage. I am unafraid to battle. All 
right, Tibok spawns, so we're definitely going to want to take the high ground with uh, Big Papa here. Let him launch those artillery shells long range, and we do actually gain some benefit from being on the high ground as well, as I think you get a bit more damage the higher up you are from your enemy, no matter what you are using, melee or missile. Throw the Nurglings in the front, be the fodder here, and actually going to clump them up a little bit more, so they should have less of them engaging, so they should actually die less quickly. And the enemy Saurus should completely surround them, allowing us to get nice charges with our uh, big scary units. Let's go ahead and hide the toadies in the forest here. We'll have these lads over on this side, and we'll go ahead and take a look at all of our units once we have deployed everyone as such. So we'll go for Plague Bearers here. And coming in from the top, it's not going to be a fast flank, but it's still going to work out for them. We'll have this lad rolling with the squad. Yes. I guess we can start to it as well, can't we? All of our speedy units. And then Kugath and Kevin. Ooh, F is not the melee mode in this one. It is M, which is a lot further away, but does make more sense. So we've got our tumor and pox ridden boys there. We've got nerdlings popping out of all sorts of horrifying places. I'm sure we'll get to see. I'm not sure all of them are allowed on YouTube, but here they are. See, hey, it's your fault. What do you think uncouth happens? Imagine trying to fight these guys and one of these tumors explodes. Just all over you. I, that, I wouldn't be fighting anymore. I'd drop the blade and run. We're out of here. There's the swole nerd. This one was using one hand for a moment. Look at... The, he's got one dude through... The chattest of, uh, of nerglings. Here's Jabba the Hutt's final form. Absolutely disgusting. Well, some of the nerglings are still alive. Not so happy about being put in a cage. Some of these guys, definitely not so much. Still great job with the, uh, the greater demon units when they initially did come into, uh, Warhammer. Plague drones that I actually think need to be changed a little bit, where you have kind of, no matter where you're on on the map, you should be able to hear them. That's kind of one of the, the, the effects of the drones, is that their droning is ah, so loud you can hear it pounds away. Affects the morale. You got little buddy hanging out on top. At the lookout Noblars. See our toadies in the forest there, they're probably having a great time. I think they also will occasionally have a uh, Nerglings popping out of them. There's one. If that was actually an attack, where they'd, they'd shoot out one of the just one infected Nurgling as they explode. Who else are we missing here? Good old Furies. They've been painted green and given some tumors. Very hard to see when you're not in a slow motion mode, though. And where are my Nerglings hiding? No, we didn't take a look at them just yet. They have some of the most amusing combat animations in the game. They use themselves as whips and they'll throw each other one at a time at units. In showers of blood. Very effective. Alright then. Let's get this battle started. We're gonna right away just bring these guys straight in, we want to make sure we can overwhelm and destroy these Skeek Skirmishers quite quickly. Move this group around. That way they're the ones engaging the Saurus. You guys just blow up the Saurus warriors there. I'll have you go into melee though. Well, he should still fire while moving. Good. Yeah, there he goes. He's gonna launch at these guys though instead. Let everyone kind of get a bit closer to us. Let's go ahead and pull back them. Kugath, you keep moving this direction. I'd rather you be launching those at proper targets. We'll have this unit of plague bearers move on forward. All they've spotted our toes. 
take them out of missile. Oh, we sped things up. That is exactly the opposite of what I want to do. Hit in the stream of corruption. You guys go ahead and melee in with the skink skirmishers. And we'll just have you go after the Soros warriors. Oh, you guys wasn't nearly as close as I thought he was. Plague bears, you go on around. You guys, you keep moving on towards this uh, warrior here. Thinks he's brave. Toads are in. Might be doing a bit more exploding on our own units than the enemy. Charge bonus here. Probably keep the attack order on these fury. Looks like that did not actually happen. We'll just have the nerdlings move on in. That was just fucking around. Having a great time. We'll go ahead and pull them away towards these skirmishers here. Let them reacquire their charge bonus. There we go. This is the good old slow motion I was looking for. Ugath's made it on into the fray as well now, which is nightmare for everyone. You are in the splash zone now, whether you wanted to or not. One out of here, like Ugath pulled through the army. And what, these dirt things go ahead and surround? The back line is gone. Let's go ahead and pull the drones up to the top here. Let them actually throw those death head grenades. managed to surround the enemy as Nurgle. It's a miracle. We'll send the Furies out to get rid of those guys. We'll zoom on into the fighting here. See if I can't drop the attack on this poor goon. You are a juggernaut, but this is looking a little bit dire. Surround and destroy is uh, very successful. Turns out letting the Nurglings take the brunt of the damage is the way. Uh, we're gonna have these drones just chase. Oh, this unit, come on back. They have been given a new target. We'll have the Toads come on out as well. And the Nurgling can just keep his attention. Keep poking the damage on. You're not gonna chase any of the other units away with Nurgle unless you're using your Furies or those drones. And even they only have, what is it, 90 speed's not so bad. I'm getting ready to talk to Smack. Go ahead and drop this guy's melee attack once more here, so he's not attacking Gugat at all. Bit of a miscast, but we're not going to care. Not one bit. Cody, see if they can chase them off. It's just this poor lad dueling with Gugat. You couldn't make me. Or if you're gonna fight him, you at least start going after the the nerdlings underneath. Where are you going? Very short attention span Kugath has. You were winning, buddy. Well, the Furies slaughter the skirmishers, and I don't think the Toads are gonna be able to catch these other guys, but looks like the rest of the army is already shattered. Where is Teapok now, little man? Hit with the Nurgling whips as well as the explosive Nurglings from Kugath. Probably doing more friendly fire damage than anything else. Go ahead and pull these guys away, although they're little picks of uh, damage are probably pretty useful. And here goes the Saurus. Lovely. Well, I shall undertake the incredibly slow process of chasing off these lizards. I will catch you all in a moment. We upgrade our victory to a decisive one and lose a few nerglings, but that is exactly their job. Time to pack the lizardmen into the incubation chambers and render them down. Disgusting. Ingredients for my blues. They are now very bubbly boys. We need an opal amulet already, so now we have an activatable on cooldown. 30% damage resistance to anything on Kugath, which is just terrifying for our foes. A few more infections as well. Awesome stuff. I think we should... 
ahead and drop down the Growth Plague over here at Dragonfang Mount. Let's first claim the Shatterstone Bay, though. Want to gain as much gold as we can. We still can't summon any units, which is very sad. Just a bunch of skinks ride to face us. I'll get practice. Okay, so we're going to be fighting, it looks like, slightly uphill. Would be a problem against normal rain troops, but against the lizard men, they've just got javelins. That's no issue at all. Uh, we're going to have the nerglings once again up front. We're probably going to move them apart a little bit here. And actually, since they are moving towards us, I'm going to have the nerglings. At least the weakened ones over in the woods waiting for kind of an ambush. We'll have this other unit setting up nearby. Caliban of Plagues is what they call themselves. Move them across here. Would love to hide the toadies in the forest again, let them kind of charge on across and crush all the foes. They've got the javelins we're going to want to avoid with the flyers. Yeah, let's have you have a angled arc on our foes there for maximum damage. Let's say we're set up. Furies, we're just going to pull you behind the drones, and let's get this battle launch. Since they move so slow, let's let's move them a bit closer together. Otherwise, we're going to have probably issues actually getting the lovely flanking attacks. Let's get it started. Infantry. Specialized and other. Start blowing up. I'd say the Lord unit there. Nerglings, come on back into the woods a little bit so you're not getting caught as quickly. And then we'll have these lads move forward a bit. Try and draw them a little ways away from the woods there directly. Right over the top of this group. In a moment, we'll have the Furies and the Odies attack together. Damage. He is going up and over the hill, which is not great. I'm gonna go right past the javelins there. Take a little bit of damage unless I can dodge it properly. You're a pretty aggressive shower. Keep going on through. These two nerdling units, that's your target. Round and destroy. Love these guys come back around. Furies and Toads go annihilate this group of skink cohort. And we'll send Kugath into melee. I'm getting a little bit of javelin fire on my uh, flyers. Roll back around, and then that's going to be your new target there instead. Furies are in. Get a little bit of the withering fire, but I think they can handle it. We got that up with a stream of plague. Where can you? We'll get a little bit closer. Nice shots, though. Back in there. Looks like a little bit more damage than you expect. Perfect. Now down straight through this line. Annihilating the lizards. That's gotta be brutal. Definitely now fleeing for the hills. You guys didn't do a great job of surrounding. Those have finally arrived, so let's send the Furies out and away. Have them come over across after these skink javelins, if at all possible. Just start slowing down the individual units, dropping their melee attack. That'll do. Nerglings, you chase these skink cohort, and just give them their individual uh, attack orders from here. We've got captives to round up. Those are hungry for some skink snacks. Like, slightly more tough chicken. And we've got plenty of them. Let's see what these theories are up to. Scaring the enemy with their looks and nothing more. Who's still willing to fight? Is it just this group here? It sure was. 
now they all flee. I am going to round them up for experience and thinking we get extra infections from doing so, so I'll catch you all in just a moment. Well, a bunch of skinks were never going to stand a chance, but that went very, very poorly for them. A thousand rode out and none remain. Not that we managed to catch them all, but with plague, we shall loot and occupy for the extra infections, be it only 11. Anything of worth. Anything of worth. Yeah, we're here for 600 and for 450, which is a bit unfortunate, uh, but we'll pay the we'll pay our dues. I'm definitely going to come on here and grab the Sea Dragon's Teeth up to the Wharf, which is going to give us double the income as well as just double the income, double the gemstones, give us a bit more control and growth. If we can afford it, we're also going to grab the growth building here as well. We'll go for the Cultist Camp a bit later on, but we want maximum growth for the area. Anything that's going to give us more Nurglings. We actually can't afford that. We're probably going to wait then. So this is going to give us more hero capacity for Exalted Heroes, Cultists, and Plague Ridden. Pretty great. We just can't recruit any of them just yet. Let's go ahead and save. Would love to get actual uh, okay, other buildings on in. Better so Nile, we'll have to wait till it's tier 2 before we do that. So, who gas first skill point? He starts with Hate Dwarves for an additional attack and at 15% more weapon strength while fighting the Dawi. So we'll give him while sitting here. Probably the inspiring presence. For a bit more experience per turn. Get that uh, chugging out along as soon as you can. And then Kevin the Stinky. Probably just want to go for his Miasma of Pestilence. Although how much replenishment are we doing? It's not going to be maximum. So let's go for the replenished troops first. And then we'll start down his magic line. No ancillaries gain just yet. Never lucky. Well, let's just see if we can go for any kind of deals. Definitely doesn't look like it. No one wants to deal with Nurgle. Wonder why. All right. Well, next turn we'll throw in the growth building here. One of the infrastructure ones. Corruption or just growth in all adjacent provinces. Income from military buildings as well. Good to me. Uh, let's go ahead and end our first turn then. Alright, the SFO Grimhammer mod is going to have every single time you get on your second turn, you'll have the I guess the mod tool kick on in, so you can come on in and adjust the entire setting of the game. Uh, the pacing of it, easy mode, default hard mode, or very hard mode. We're going to keep everything as entirely as intended, so basically you can make it even harder than your normal very hard. If you so desire. We can't reach all the way to the Dread Rock. Where does the... Probably ends out here in the sea. Which is going to be a bit sad for us. We definitely need to take down Dread Rock before the Shattered Stone Bay. Malhotra. Dramatic name you have there, fella. Sounds horrifying. Let's go for the microbial bog and degrading here. Get a bit of uh, growth. And actually, we can summon in some units here. Oh, pretty dangerous ones, too, don't we? So we can only really afford one of these guys. Beasts of Nurgle being armor piercing. We have the trail of slime as well. And dropped melee attacks. Pretty, pretty nasty. Let's get ourselves a beast. Beast of Nurgle sounds awesome. He's a single entity. Oh, he's not. Four of them. All right, how spooky. How large is the garrison here at Dread Rock? They are at least going to have a Bastilladon to revive Crystal. Everyone else is quite weak. We might also be able to come across the water to attack this settlement. Let's see if that's a thing. Real quick, we'll come out into the sea. Be able to attack. It's not going to 
gonna let us. All right. In that case, we'll come to here. Don't mind being a little bit defensive. Growth in all provinces. We just lose a bit of our inspections. Ooh, it also drops construction time. That's a hefty sold. That's red rocks. We don't want to actually move over to the other side then. That'll speed it up by the one turn, which is awesome. Then what we're going to want to do is come on over and spread the plague. Well, why not? Wait, to actually select an army. I realized we did misplan that first turn there and didn't spread a pox to this first settlement, so plus a little bit of the growth. We shall infest. Now that one has got the plague. Shattered Stone Isle does not. Uh, but let's see if Kugath passes it on over to them while sitting here. Awesome. They're recruiting, but they only recruited one last turn. That's not that scary, I can't lie. Can't quite reach. Quite sad, but we'll just come on over and uh, go into one of our other stances that allows us to replenish. Through Shatterstone Isle, we will take 20 turns to get another growth point. We definitely need to upgrade the Nurgle Hollow then. We do raiding. Cross our upkeep. Doesn't give us any replenishment. Our beasts are still going to only be two of them. How much gold will we gain, though? 2,000 as opposed to. That's not actually that much more. Let's go for the replenishment. Move as close to Dreadrock as we can, and we'll attack that in the next turn. Let's see how many. You just think it up over here. We can easily throw in a lord, just play defense if required. Actually, I think it's time to grab our pestilent growth here as well. Form this on Kugath and gain a bit more uh, replenishment rate. 25% more. I keep that on cooldown. That's almost up to full, which is perfect. Right, the turn is back to ourselves. We need to concoct a plague. Just like the plague lord, lord himself, followers of Nurgle cannot resist combining and recombining strains of disease, contaminating their own bodies with the intention of infecting everyone with whom they come into contact. Pretty sure we've read that one on before, but after spreading a plague, we get a thousand favor. Which sounds fantastic to me. Are you still plagued up? Doesn't actually look like it, so we'll probably have to apply one to yourself there. We're attacking the Dread Rock. They're still recruiting, but only going at one a turn, which is perfect for us. We've got some symptoms, Dad. Now, extra bleeding ears. We don't have the infections for that, though, so we're just going to go for the pox on uh, Ugath himself. Both. That was gold. And a sword of striking. Which we shall give to Kugath. Oh, we're just kidding. That's what we need to spread a plague. So we need to do so by karate chopping Dread Rock. Let's do it. Hello, Dread Rock defenders. There are several Saurus hiding behind these walls here. Thinks we are going to lose. I would disagree. Let's grab one Nurgle Battering Ram and a couple Siege Towers. Actually don't need the ram though, so let's just grab as many siege towers as we can in two turns. Cool looking snail on the back. I've never really seen the Nurgle siege towers. Let's uh surround. Let's see what we can build. They're still trying to recruit up more there at the Shattered Stone Bay. Not really all that concerned. Sweet business. Uh, we come on in and we end the turn. Let's take a fast look at diplomacy. Everyone despises us, as to be expected. Okay, they're going to come on out and attack us directly. Exactly what we want to see. Estolent growth is being added to the battle. Oh, we get 10% more hit points for all characters. Just a casual 20,000 health for Kugaf. Sounds great. We can basically just charge him in, and he's going to win based on attrition. Let's get it.
Okay, so we are still going to be fighting uphill, and I'd rather not. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to deploy Kugath on the other end of this set of trees here. Go ahead and deploy Nerglings up front, so that's where they know they're at. Okay, over here, so I can get a nice angle shot on them. So the other two, other two Nerglings in the woods over here for an ambush. And then all of our other beasties ready to fly out of the woods and do some damage. Beast set up. Aren't going to be able to hide our flyers. We're just going to throw them all the way over here. Same thing with you guys. We'll rotate around behind. Flyers up front. Infantry. Which we'll just have plague bears ready to come out of the woods here. So we'll have you guys maybe a little bit further across. Can't really see them unless we hit the little space bar. The jungles are thick. Right out of Monsters, Inc. Just turned up the horror factor by, uh... Probably 10 or 11. Just as happy, though. They just can't understand why the things they're giving hugs explode. Alright, so let's go for the big beasties together with Gather flyers. Hang out in the middle, and we should be able to annihilate these, uh, Saurus. Let's get them. Get the fox father up ever so slightly. Move these nerglings back so they're not getting spotted in so quickly. Bring these other nerglings a little bit closer to the woods since they're... All of our units are so slow. Can't change the speed on how fast they move, but we now have some nice... Nice football angles here. They're blasting into those Saurus Warriors. They do have the heals from the Bastilladon Revivification Crystal, which is going to be just healing everyone around it. Very similar to how Ugath is. So let's send Death's Heads drones after them then. In particular. Coming on down, we'll bring the toads around. Trying to pull these guys back in the woods a little bit more there. Everyone going after these Nurglings, or even just Kugath himself. That works just fine for me. They die. Keep coming on around. I could slow the unit. I'm not going to do so, though. We'll go ahead. Looks like we're going to completely ignore the Nurglings. We're going to move them up. We need these Saurus Spears to be fighting this group. Out there and butcher them. You guys work together. We're going to have the Death's Heads coming on in and blasting in the, the Stilladon there. We're going to move in and surround who you can. A nice blast of plague through there. Go ahead and drop the melee attack of this poor revive crystal. When annihilation comes, they're gonna charge their skirmishers into combat, which is is a very interesting strategy. Alright, Odies. Try to get around behind the Saurus Spears still. Meanwhile, you guys keep your shot flying. Charge on in. Beast, come on out for a moment. Want to get their charge bonus back. Cycling on up as much as we can. Ugath, you come on in here and find Scarvet. Give them a hug. You're losing some Nurglings. All right, that's what they're for. Combination should be easily overwhelming this group. You guys come on in and annihilate these Saurus Warriors. Go ahead and rip through this group of uh, warriors as well. With our magics. Right, go ahead and weaken the attack on who else are we losing now? Just another group of Nurglings. So sad. 
we can Asaurus Warriors pull you on away. Keep launching. Revive Crystal's gone. I don't think it should be providing its heals anymore. We want to make sure, though. Toad's back in. We are losing quite a bit here. Throwing those death heads. It's going to be able to revive or at least heal itself as well, which is all the unfortunate. Furies and company have overwhelmed the Saurus. Go ahead and pull the Furies back so they're not getting uh, taken down themselves. From the death heads after uh, the revive crystal. Stay here. Anything would be bad for everyone involved. Gowering our enemies in plague. You guys come on back around and I guess go after those Sphinx skirmishers, or if that's not their most important unit though. Oh, they're all broken. We've done it. Beautiful stuff. Looks like we the Solrus have had enough. You go after this group of Saurus. Weak in the Lord. I don't think there's any that are actually still fighting, and there's the victory. Beautiful. We only had to sacrifice one of our Nurgling groups, which we can replenish here right after the battle. Right, a close victory indeed. A whole bunch of Saurus rode out to meet us, and luckily we, uh, we butchered them. We only lost one of our units of Nurgling, so we should be able to replenish them pretty quickly here. I'm going to incubate these captives, because that's a whole bunch. Saurus make lovely tumor pods. We've got ourselves a ocean of toughness. They want us to be healing as much as possible. That's awesome. I have no problems with this at all. Or Kugath himself and go for the Angel of Disease. Growth after winning a battle. Yes, please. The other abilities are going to have to wait. Uh, this settlement is mine. Thank you. Still lose a fair few, which is kind of goofy. Likely coming from the uh, actual towers. I'm going to occupy this time, just so I don't have to rebuild any of the buildings. 11 infections we're losing isn't going to be that big a deal overall. A new testing ground. As this is also a major settlement. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this up to tier 2. Gain us access to a, an exalted hero of Nurgle. That's awesome. Is that... Are they in? I don't actually think they are in base games. So that's a little bit of a salt to the wound. Uh, for the skill point for Kevin, let's go for a Miasma of Pestilence. Actually, I might hand the Potion of Toughness over to him. Since he has less overall health. We could probably go for the healing buff when we need it. Not perfect here at Kugath's squad. Let's give him... What all can we afford? Probably two more units of Nurglings. Having four Chaff units sounds very nice. Then we can go for a secondary Toad and maybe a secondary Fury. They're very expensive, the Furies. Differences between... We're going to go for mostly Demons with Kugath. Mortals don't belong in his army. Let's go for probably... Good Minds Hounds. Okay, these guys are awesome. They're large units in SFO instead of the, the normal small Poison Hounds. They're actually quite a bit more dangerous than uh, normal. They've got area attacks as well, so we're going to grab some of these guys. And likely they'll end up replacing our Furies overall. Cost about the same, only 50, 50 or so more, 20 or... Math, yeah, that's exactly how much that is. It's about, about 60 or so more. It's worth it. Specimens for the battle study. The plagues aren't spreading all that much here. And it looks like Kugas went away as soon as we... So he's still got the box, so it may spread to Dreadrock. At least come on in and make sure it spreads where we want. We're all for negatives. I just want extra growth. At the Shatterstone Isle. It has been infected. We've now spread a plague, giving us a thousand more favor and a sword of striking. Probably use some of that favor now. To gain even more plague hounds. And we'll keep the Fury just as a shaft to throw in for our Plague Drones can escape if we need them. Also, Order Striking can go to... Definitely Kugath. Five charge bonus, and uh, he's gotten more charge bonus than you'd expect riding around on this Palanquin. 
he can kick very aggressively hard. It's like still no diplomacy to be had, except for maybe. No, they're gonna fight us at the very end. Honorable Mal Malto Raptor. Bird is ours, and the fruit of the garden. Terrible nausea grips you. Over the course of the next seven hours, you slowly and agonizingly reach up a weathered and weeping black orb. Double the size of your own egg, or your own head. An egg or a fruit. Uh, the reeking sphere defies an easy description, but must be used appropriately. Gross. We either need to plant it in the fields and gain some plague bearers, or consign it to the sewers for some plague toads. Love us some plague toads. Unlocking two plague symptoms will give us the plague warfare. And 1,500 favor and some infections. Mission successful. We only have one. Unlock two plague symptoms. You're in total one, but you are successful. Mission accomplished. Okay, well, in that case, let's grab in our... The toads actually cost less. Cost less overall than the uh, plague bearers. So, looks like more toadies it is. Is there any buildings we can do? looks like basic military get through to get the soul grinder at this building whole bunch of plague bearers and exalted plague bearers here or the toads toads and more hounds of decay you probably want to get a soul grinder as soon as possible is there any that focus soul grinders oh really Soul Grinder only comes through basic military? Some rancid aloe. Gross. Okay, well for now then, we just go for pure growth then. Control is steadily ticking upwards. Cycle time for basic military buildings in the local region. That's pretty solid. We'll just go for uh, growth though. Growth for now. You guys should be able to strike on out towards the Shatterstone Bay through Naval. Should be able to. Come on out. And attack? No, we're gonna go this way. Why do we have to go up over there? There's a clear landing that we could use here. Okay, fine, I guess. Alto Raptor's not gonna be able to actually uh, recruit anything useful to bring us down. How many... Back into Dreadrock for now. We only lose a little bit of a movement. We're going to march to get over to the Stone Bay. Uh, but we are going to grab just a bunch more Nurglings. Very cheap, and they recruit at full health, which is exactly what we want. So, march stance, and we're going to come on over. Don't be like that. Nothing in the settlement. If they want to come on out and fight me, that sounds even better. Hyper aggressive Kugath is a go. I must test my Even. Oh, we can't. We can't infect oh, enemy God. stuff. Well, that would be too easy. Fair enough. We're gonna go ahead and save a bit of our infections, perhaps. What do we have to do? Spread palsy five times, rot five times, ague, or boobos. Forty percent more attrition when under siege. That is horrifying. I just fell out of the window. Hopefully that didn't pick up in the mic. I'll try it again, Mock. It didn't work the first time. Come over and complain at me. Alright, so let's go ahead and just grab you. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for the pox again. And we'll infect here. Growth we have rolling. 175 is probably pretty solid to start. Love to see it. All right, let's see what he has managed to build. What kind of army he's managed to build for himself here. Can we attack anyone in this combat stance? We probably can, but it doesn't give us any actual battle uh, buffs, so there's no reason for. Let's just go for the, the final battle here at the Shatterstone Bay. Trail of slime. Looks like he's just brought in a whole bunch of skinks. 
So it is now the Battle of the Chaff. Skinks versus Nurglings, and he's going to be bringing a few Pterodons too, so we get to have some lovely sky battles. Let's get to it. Okay, so first up, how fast exactly are those Pterodons? 80 speed, are they actually slower than our Plague Drones? That's so unfortunate for them. They're on both sides. So let's go ahead and use our high ground advantage and our artillery advantage as well. So let's go ahead and throw in three of the Nurgling units. Here. I do still want them out of the woods just so our big beasties aren't being uh, bogged down by the tree. A debuff there, you lose, I think, 40% both melee attack and speed while in the woods as large units. Gross. It'll show us. Be kind. How much percentage? It's not going to tell us. Not enough. I'm going to bunch up these three units here and then have everyone else ready to kind of swarm around and fill in the gaps. These last two Nurglings up on the other side. We'll just keep them behind. Don't want to keep them too far back. They are Nurgle and they're not going to be that good at actually flanking. Have plague bearers also attempting to hide in the woods, at least on that side. Hide them over here. Any of the nurglings out and about still? Looks like a hefty no. Liars and beasties. We do still want those pterodons to kind of move over towards us. We'll have the Theories on this end. Ugath up on top of Hill here. You're just trying to make as much noise as possible, aren't you? Maka's running around. She's quite angry that we're recording right now for some reason. I think we'll keep the playhounds in the back. And our toads together. I'm going to throw the toads on this end. If we can keep them hidden for very long, that'd be just fantastic. May not work out like that. I want everyone to be coming up this hill, though. Lastly, the beasties in the back. And the battle can be begin. Do they have a revive crystal bestilled on anywhere at all? No, looks like we're safe on that front, at least. Just normal skinks. And then the Croxagore coming through the woods, of course. Not actually all that concerned about them, though. They're doing exactly what we want, but they may still spot my toads. If we are very unlucky. Back towards the line, same thing with these Furies. Let's find the enemy Pterodons. Moving over the top. They get away from the... The Chafflins will just charge in and take them down. Eries versus Pterodons really doesn't go Pterodons' way. Missing a little bit badly there. Go for this unit, that way even if we do miss, we'll blow up someone. Definitely seem to need the multiple... multiple shots there. Yeah, let's go after those Pterodon Riders. They're going nowhere. I mean, he has, he has all right aim occasionally. When he does hit the skinks, they really don't enjoy it. Battle on the mountaintop over here. Take them round wide. Odes moving to destroy these javelins together. Can't believe that worked out. Here come the pterodons to try to drop bombs. We were a little bit slow. See if I can outrun them. Drop the speed on these fools. They're not getting... Ooh, no, absolutely not. They're not getting away, at least. The vengeance is ours. So many skinks coming on through the forest. Go ahead and blast that through. Let's go 
we'll charge them down. Break the units we can. Pulling the angry boys out of the woods then. Hound dogs as well. Taliban of Plague. Two gas, go ahead and uh, engage their lord in a uh, one on one fight. Easily butchered that group. Let's come on back and go after the uh, skirmishers there. And the beasts can come on in and not go after the Croxagore because they'll actually have the advantage. Hound dogs come maul these skink cohort. We'll bring these uh, nerdlings in just to start causing some problems. Those are fighting spears in the woods. Pull them away, please. Drop everyone's charge bonus and melee attack. Alright, drones are ignoring orders, which is not what we want. Come on. Back away from that nonsense, please. Pull these theories out of the way. Sounds okay. Back out of the fighting. So we got pulled back in. Try to drag them away from the trees. You guys come around. Try to get them in on the javelins in the back. If we're losing another unit of Nurglings, we definitely need our heal spells very soon. this group here. Right, they are well and truly gone. Go after the skin cohort. You guys... I didn't realize I'd gotten both of them. No, don't lose our toads. The opposite of what I want. Our beasties, you come on in and duel with the skin chief now. Drop the attack on these Proxagore and have them work together to drag them down. Enemy Lord is already dealt with, and we can go ahead and just kind of charge in the back of these skinks over here. There's a lot of skinks out there. We are winning on the Horde front, though. Although these Toads look like they are going to go the way of the Dodo. Which is an acceptable loss, but one that is probably a pretty avoidable. Victory is within our grasp, though. Come on, Toads, you can escape, but probably not. They're already quite unstable. Sheer pandemonium, though. We'll send uh, Kugath after these Soros warriors here. As the enemy general is pleading for his life. Gore are as well. And there's just an entire army running away from us. Well, let's go ahead and not overextend. Bring these nerdlings back. We'll have the Hounds of Decay come on in and rush these Soros Warriors down. Get over there, brother. Got a lot of units needing to move their way over to just chase off these skinks. Go ahead and surround and destroy. We did lose the Thodies, but that's who be Oh, dogs are hungry. Get through that health quickly now. You guys go after the skinks, we'll pull the Eries away. No one else can keep coming through the woods and go after the javelins. We got the guest keeps ignoring orders. Which you love to see. They're losing. Pull them back and away from that nonsense. Furies go over the top. My safe toads come on back. The ride of the Valkyries intensifies. Now, that's a bad day to be a Saurus. And there's the victory. They fought for quite a ways, though. For quite a while. I'm going to hunt down as many of them as I can, and I will see you on them all. Up. 
All right, we secure a close victory against Malho Trapper. His uh, swarms and swarms of skinks. Uh, they emptied the uh, spawning pools out for sure there. Uh, we'll take the win. We only lost 105, but we did lose some of our toadies and our nerdlings. Should be able to gain it. those toadies back, no problem. Hopefully, plus some ovens secured. That is quite, uh, quite intimidating. Buck spawn it now lies either littered across the ground or stuck in our incubation vats. That's a perfect time to end our first episode here. I am out of time for today. I have been Space Wizard to the War. Leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub I will see you all in the next one.